I'm John Wood. I was born in August 1941. My first involvement with the Tin Church was from about the age of four, when, with all the other children from our area, we went to Sunday school. And I have some photographs of the very first carnival, which was held in Sinterford in, I think, 1947. And most of the children on there would have gone to the Tin Church. In the front of one photograph is a little tiny guy in a top hat, who I believe is myself. The reason I say that is standing next to me in a kind of army uniform is a young lad named Vernon Williams. Vernon was a regular member at the Tin Church and his sister, Margaret, is one of the people fighting to keep the Tin Church open. She is now Margaret Grindle. But it was a very happy place. It was run by George Lees and... Miss or Mrs. Brain. I'm not sure what her marriage status was. Uh, George was a disciplinarian. We did all the right things that children should do. And as a reward for being good, we were taken to Minchinampton every summer for a picnic and play in their huge grounds. Why Minchinampton? We don't really know. But it was always Minchinampton and it was always somewhere we looked forward to. I stayed there until I was about 10, when, because my father moved from St John's Church to the Forest Church as a lead tenor, I was recruited um, into the church choir. And I have this angelic photograph taken by Mr Gibbs in High Street of myself in choir clothes. It was whilst I was at the Tin Church that some missionaries were brought into the church by George Lees, and they had been missionaries in China. They gave us a, a nice talk on missionary work, but we never saw them again. Many, many years later, while I was in the Air Force on a trip to Hong Kong, I was shopping in an arcade, and reflected in another shop window, I saw the word Sinniford. I turned round, I went into the shop. The shop owners were very pleased, they thought they were going to do some trade. But I just told them I was from Sinderford. And the wife explained that her parents had been converted to Christianity by missionaries from Sinderford. She didn't know their names, just that they were missionaries. When I came back, I gave this to the Mercury. And through them, we tried to find out who the missionaries were. We never did find out, although we believe that they were related to Charles Hale, the mine owner who lived in Bellevue Road. 